Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Camp Buddy. In the last episode, we finally we finally confessed our feelings to Yoichi, and he he returned them. He loves us guys, and he wants to start a family with us. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, Katero, Yoichi. You guys are just in time. We were just about to give the milk to the puppies. Wow! Can we try two Scoutmaster Yoshi? Hmm. Maybe we should let the boys feed the puppies, Yoshinori. Neither of us have a clue about what we're doing anyway. <laughs> I suppose you're right, Aiden. I mean, I suppose you're right. Aiden was the one handling them yesterday, and he didn't give us much for instructions before he left. Yeah. You geezers are doing it all wrong. You're supposed to hold the babies when you feed them. Here, let me show you, Silver Fox. I'm glad to hear that. It looks like Yoichi's back to his old self again. Thank goodness. Ah, uh, uh, I guess he is, sir. I know he won't be able to move on so easily, but at least he's trying his best. That's right. You're right about that. On the bright side, you managed to help Yoichi out of a crisis once again. You really are amazing, Katero. You're welcome. It was my pleasure, sir. I'm just happy that I was able to help him realize what he still has... What he still has a family with us? I'm just happy that I was able to help him realize that he still has a family with us. Okay. <laughs> I believe you made a big difference yesterday too, sir. By the time I talked to Yoichi, he was so calm compared to when I left him in the forest. So you have my thanks for that too, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Hmm. I'm the only one doing my job as a Scoutmaster after all. It's alright, I understand. I don't think it's just that though, Scoutmaster Yoshi. The way you took care of Yoichi was as if he was your own son. Yoichi was really lucky to have you, sir. I guess I could say the same about you. Yoichi sees you as more than just a fellow camper, I believe. <gasps> do, do you already know? <laughs> you already know uh, what we are to each other? As I was saying. You seem to be a great at influencing people towards the right path, Katero. You know that Scoutmaster offer hasn't expired yet. I'd be honored to train you. Well... Ah, uh, well, I think I have a ways to go before then. <laughs> but I'll definitely think about it, sir. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance. <laughs> Natsumi is just... The hair on the back of his neck just stood on end. <laughs> That's great. I can't believe we're already at the end of the term. Oh... I know, I know, I know how you feel, Yoshinori. I can't believe we're at the end of the term a second time. Oh no. I feel like I owe you so much. This camp wouldn't be where it is now if it weren't for you. Scoutmaster Yoshi! You don't owe me anything, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Everyone did their part to keep this camp alive. He owes us a bit, okay? Just tell me if you need anything. I just wish there was something that I can do for you. Actually? You've done more than enough for all of us scouts, sir. Besides, it's not like this is the last time you'll see me. I'll be back next term for sure. <laughs> Good point, but if you ever need anything from me, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I won't. Oh. Oh, I see. So you have to hold them like that when you're feeding them. Of course, they're still just pups. They're too weak to move. Heck, I don't think they can even see yet. <laughs> well, everything seems to be going well here. Impressive. This boy really knows what he's doing. Honestly, this is the first time I've nursed an animal like this. They're so fragile. <laughs> I guess I'm more of a dad than any of you guys here. Oh my god. <laughs> that Yoichi just, um, just took away, um, Goro's manhood, his dadhood, actually, and now he he's just completely blank-faced with, with shock. <laughs> hey, guys! What the hell's wrong with Goro? <sighs> Doesn't anyone knock anymore? Don't come inside until I put my face on. His face is always going places, guys. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, Sir Goro. <laughs> I know how embarrassing it is for people to walk in on you before you put your face on. <laughs> I told him to knock, but he just went straight in. It's all right. It's all right, Natsumi. We saw Yoichi and Katero coming in here, so we wanted to see what was going on. Yeah, what are you guys up to? <laughs> I'm just teaching these old ladies how to properly take care of a pup. <laughs> They're so cute. Have you named them yet? Actually, I was thinking about that this morning, and I think I found the perfect names. Torchhead. Huh? Well, what do you want now? 
I'm talking about the puppies. This one's Torchet, that one's Twinkerbell, and this one's Mr. Perfect. I tried to name them based on the, their personalities. The loud and whiny one is Torchet since he's just like Hero. Hey. hey, wait, did you just call me by my name? Well, since your nickname belongs to the puppies now, I don't want have any choice but to call you by your real names now. Are you sure? Uh, are you sure, Yoichi? You always like to tease us with your nicknames. Actually... I'll admit, it'll be weird hearing Yoichi call us our real names. I'm so used to calling Twinkerbell now. I'm, I've, I've just become a twink now. Inside my head, I just think of myself as a twink. This is what Yoichi has done to me. See? I have to come up with something new now to try and trigger you. <laughs> what about the puppy Sir Girl is holding? What's his name? <laughs> That one's really special. He looks the most like Yuki, and he has green eyes just like you, Katero. Mm. I want you to name him for me. <laughs> That's really sweet, Yoichi. Really? W w really? Are you sure, Yoichi? Yeah, I mean, you're one of the dads anyway. Well... Well, well, I actually did spend some time thinking about what I would name them before, and I did come up with one name. How about Keichi? <laughs> Does that supposed to be a combination of our names? Hmm. Keichi, huh? Oh. Oh, it's a combination of both of your names. That's adorable. <laughs> Isn't that kind of cheesy? I mean, I know you're gay and together, but do you really have to rub it in our faces? Actually. I think it sounds really nice, Hiro. Relax. I like it. Yoichi. Well, what do you think, Yoichi? It's perfect. This little guy will be Keichi from now on. <laughs> Do you like that name, little guy? Huh? Keichi? Hmm. <laughs> he loves it. Huh? As flattered as I am that Yoichi named the puppies after us, how come Katero is the only one who gets to pick the name? <laughs> if you asked me to name the pups, I'd call him something cool like Fire Dragon. Shut up. Shut up, Hero. You're not as special as Kiro, and that name sucks ass. <laughs> I think Yoichi naming them after us is really sweet. It's his way of saying thank you. Nope. No, it's not. You're you're just reading way too much into it, Hunter. <laughs> like I'd want to thank you guys. <laughs> Yoichi is adorable when he's flustered like that. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this pup has finished drinking its milk. He's hungry little fella, isn't he? What? W what Already? I thought for sure that one bottle was good for all of them. All they can eat is milk, so they need tons of it. Yes, of course. Ah, uh, you're right. I'll, I'll go get some more from the mess hall. Can you just give them regular milk, like cow milk? That seems weird. That seems weird. That, is that normal? I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't know anything about raising puppies, so I, I guess I shouldn't talk. Maybe you should take the puppies with you. They can eat and sleep there since it's warm. You won't have to keep running around like this either. Oh. And you can also get those damn puppies out of here. They're starting to piss me off. <laughs> oh, and we can help you carry them, Scoutmaster Yoshi. I appreciate it. R right. Thank you for all the help. Come on, hurry up. Come on, guys. Let's go. Hey. That's not how you're supposed to carry them. Uh, uh, uh l let's go after them, Yoichi. Hold on. Hold on, you two. Oh. Oh, y yes, sir? I just want to say a few things to Mr. Yukimura. Huh? What's up, Silver Fox? You did a good job. I'm pleased to see you are all recovering so well from what happened the other day. I owe it to Kiro and Yoshi. They both helped me see that there was a future beyond Yuki. I'm glad to hear that, young man. You really have matured. I'm sorry that I misunderstood you so much. I should have been more sensitive to how hard you had it growing up. I understand. I know how hard it is to lose a loved one. I should have been more sympathetic with you from the beginning. Do you know how hard it is? Did, did you lose your wife? Is that why Yuri has no mother? <laughs> you did a good job. But I admire how strong you've been this whole time. You really are a model scout in your own way. I'm thinking maybe Yuki... Or, wait... What did I say? I meant Yuri. Did I say Yuki before? I meant Yuri. Maybe Yuri is so um maladjusted because she never had a mother to, you know, teach her, you know, how to act. I don't know. And maybe because her dad was so buff, she just got used to seeing buff men being all sexy and naked. 
I don't know. Maybe that's why she's, you know, a deviant now. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. If only she had a mother. Maybe she'd be normal. Ahem. That's all I wanted to say. So please don't let me hold you two back any longer. Oh. They're back already. Hello. Um. Hello. Oh. Oh, Felix. That's a surprise. What can I do for you, boy? Well... I just wanted to let you know that my father will be coming by the camp today, sir. He just informed me about it a little while ago. Oh. Your father? Are you being picked up early, Felix? We still have another day of camp left, you know. <laughs> um... It's not like that. My dad is actually just visiting to check the camp. I know this is a weird time for him to visit, but I've been telling him stories about how much fun I'm having here. I figured it'd be nice to invite him here before the term ends so he can see for himself. Well... I actually asked him to come during the campaign, but he's usually really busy, and he just recently got the free time to pass by. Mm. I was wondering if at least one of the Scoutmasters could help give him a tour. I see. No problem. I'll go tell Yuri and the others to attend to your father. Thank you very much. Alright. You boys run along to the mess hall now. I can take it from here. Yes, sir! Let's see. Yeah, I think he's just gonna realize that, um... Huh? What? Yeah, Felix is a rich boy. <laughs> I'm impressed, Snowball. I thought you'd be too scared to go talk to Silver Fox like that. Well... Well, a few weeks ago, I would have been for sure. But you really helped me see that I can't just be scared of everything. Sometimes, I have to do things that I don't want to do. I really took your advice to heart, Yoichi. I'm really grateful for your help. It's no big deal, Snowball. But by the way, Yoichi, are you alright now? I'm sure you are upset about, well, you know... I'll be alright. It's thanks to everyone helping me out, especially Katero here. I'm so glad to hear that. We knew we could count on Katero given how well you two get along with each other. Uh, uh, uh Felix! Well, he's not wrong. Katero and I are together with those puppies, just like a family. Yuichi, don't say embarrassing stuff, too. It's okay. I understand. It's all right, Katero. I'm just glad you two are ending the term so happy together. It, I'm kind of jealous. Me and Sato are <laughs> going through a little rough patch right now. Anyway. Well, anyway, it's it's a bit strange for your dad to be visiting so late in the term, Felix. Why did he wait till the end? Oh. Well, like I said earlier, I wanted him to come during the campaign, but he was just so busy. Older people are always so serious and busy. Hmm. What does your dad do anyway? Well, well, my dad is an author with his own publishing company. Wow! That's awesome! I've always admired people who could write. Huh? So what is your... So what? Is your dad some super famous writer? I didn't even know writers could be famous. Yeah, that's right. I guess you could say that. He sold over a million books worldwide and sponsored a lot of other independent authors as well. Oh, so that explains why you're so filthy rich. Why are you at this rundown camp then? Shouldn't you be off getting pampered somewhere? Well, well I was always bullied at school for getting special treatment from the teachers, even though I went to an exclusive private school. My dad thought it was best to have private tutors come over, so I've been taught at home for a really long time. Mm. I got so used to staying at home that I didn't even go outside anymore. It made my dad worry so much that he thought he might have been depriving me of any, of any real life as a boy. That's when he came across an online article about this place and asked me if I wanted to spend my summer vacation here. <laughs> I thought trying something new like this may not be so bad, so I agreed to do it. What? However, I tried what? to keep my family profile a secret since I didn't want the same thing that happened to me at school to happen here. Oh. Oh, are you sure it's all right for you to tell us all of this, Felix? It's okay. it's okay. You guys are my friends. Even if you did know, I don't think it would have changed the way you see me. I'm just happy to get the same treatment as everyone else and finally feel like a normal person. Well, good. It can only be good for you to be treated just like everybody else. Nobody should be super spoiled anyway. You're right, Yoichi. I've never had real friends until I met all of you guys. I disagree. I know I'm not good at socializing, and on top of that, I know I was obnoxious at first, complaining about most everything. If it were any other people, I knew they would have left me right away. In fact, the people who stuck around me back then were only after my money. My father's money. 
But like I said, everything's different here. I couldn't really ask for more. <laughs> I'm so glad that you think that way, Felix. All of us learned a lot from each other here. Yeah, that's right. You're right. That's why I thought it was necessary for my dad to really see this place for himself. He needs to see just how good of an investment Camp Buddy can be. Yeah. What do you mean, Felix? Well... When everyone was busy with the fundraising and advertisement campaign, I wanted to help out in any way I could, too. Mm. I know the campaign was successful, but I still don't want to leave the camp without my own contribution. I explained the situation to my dad and asked him if he could help out the camp financially. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Your dad's going to just give away money like that? I can't believe it. That's unbelievable, Felix. Did you tell the Scoutmasters about this yet? I haven't yet. I didn't have enough time to explain it fully to Sir Guru before. That's why I'm really worried about my dad's visit. I wanted to impress him enough to persuade him to sponsor the camp. Wow! Wow, Felix, this is great news for the Scoutmasters. I'm sure they'll win his approval with flying colors. Mm. Let's just hope we don't run into any trouble. I hope you don't mind if I see the puppies a little bit later. Nah, it's fine. They're not going anywhere anyway. F thanks, Yoichi. Let's go check on those dorks in the mess hall. I doubt they know how to handle the puppies properly. Let's go! Ah, uh, you're right, let's go! You know, we never got a little... We didn't get a scene with the Hi puppies. There. We didn't actually see them. Are we not gonna see them? That seems like a wasted opportunity. I don't see why we... It seems like we definitely should get something, right? We should be able to see them. I don't know. Oh, there they are! <laughs> what took you guys so long? That's child abandonment, you know. Well... So, sorry, we got actually caught up with Felix talking to Sir Goro before we could leave the office. Where's Scoutmaster Yoshi? Oh. oh, he was called by Scoutmaster Yuri. Apparently it was something urgent. Anyway, why did Felix go into the office? Did he get into some sort of trouble? Ah, uh, no, nothing like that. He was just telling Sir Goro that his father was going to visit the camp to check it out before the term ends. Huh? huh? Why would he want to come out here all of the, out of the blue? <laughs> That guy's going to give us tons of dough. Huh? I thought we had plenty of food here. That seems like an odd thing to donate. Ugh. Dough means money, Natsumi. Come on. Really? M money Why would Felix's dad do that? I don't know. I just heard some big words from him, and Kato and I didn't really understand. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, I understood. Just Yoichi didn't. Felix told us about his dad planning to invest in Camp Buddy. Really? Well, really? Just who is Felix's dad anyway? Oh. Oh, Mr. Claremont is one of the best-selling authors around the world. He's a billionaire. Huh? How could you say that with a straight face? Well, what? I never knew. How did you know about that, Hunter? Did Felix tell you before? I've read about this before. No, I've known about it since I've heard Felix's last name. I've read some of his father's books. Now Felix's sense of luxury all makes sense. Whoa. We all knew he was rich, but not this rich. <laughs> it's great news that his father is a potential investor, though. If he offers a sponsorship, that would probably help liquidate all of the camp's financial liabilities. <sighs> there we go again, spouting business words that only you guys can understand. Wolf boy. I know, right, Wolf boy? Let's just pretend we understand. <laughs> God, you're just a stupid hero. <laughs> All Hunter is saying is that we could really use the help of Felix's dad can give if he sees Camp Buddy as a worthwhile investment. That's great. I'm not sure why Mr. Claremont would think otherwise. Camp Buddy is a great place after all. Mm -hmm. Do the Scoutmasters know about this already? I don't think so, but it shouldn't be a problem though. They all treat they treat all visitors with the same amount of respect, no matter who they are. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mr. Claremont can also see for himself just how friendly and well-mannered the campers are. Enough of this stupid money talk. Where are my puppies? Oh. oh, they're sleeping over there next to the fridge. Well... We tried to move them to play earlier, but they just all curled up over there to sleep. They must like how warm it is. What? That's dangerous. Get away from there. <laughs> Relax, Yoichi. It's safe and clean over there. <laughs> Yoichi is so overprotective of his puppies. At, at least put them in a box. There are other ways to warm them up, you know. Sheesh, you dorks would make awful parents. Katero! Katero, help me get them to a comfier spot. Uh, okay. 
It seems like everything is going well. I'm so happy to hear that Yoichi is back on his feet. I can't believe that the camp term will be ending so soon, though. I'm really going to miss everyone here and the good times we spent together. Oh, and speaking of good times, I should really update my journal. I don't think I'll have any other day to write an entry. Oh, oh, thank God I didn't actually have to do it. Oh, oh God. Thank God. Okay, they're just gonna be really surprised that What's-His-Face is rich, but um, I'm so glad I did not have to do that journal. I was... Oof. I was... Oh, I was getting flashbacks like I've been in a war. Oof. There we go, I finished updating my journal. Good morning, everyone. Oh. I skipped through some of the, um... Scenes with Hunter's dad, just because we've seen it all before. Oh, Yoichi, you're up early again. Yeah, I went to check on the puppies. How are they doing this morning? Well, they're sleeping just like little angels. Oh. Oh, looks like you two are awake as well. It's really interesting to see you wake up so early, Yoichi. Good for you. <laughs> Look at me praising you for your tiny little accomplishments. <laughs> That just shows how low you've set the bar. Natsumi. It can't be helped, Natsumi. This is our last day at camp, after all. And Yoichi has puppies to take care of now, too. What's going on? What's going on? You're up the latest. That's what's going on. Hello. Good morning, Hiro. You seem a little sleepy today. You seem a little sleepy. Today's our last day, so we have to make it count. Hey. You guys were the ones always waking up late all throughout camp. Whatever. Whatever, hero. Uh, it still feels weird to hear Yoichi call me by my name. Mm -hmm. Didn't you just do it now, too? Gah, why is this so weird? Wake up, scouts. It's time for... Whoa, Whoa you're all already up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Perfect timing. I want you to tell you all to get into your uniforms. We'll have everyone gather in the mess hall shortly. All right, Roger that. All right. Okay, guys, let's... If you say so. Yeah, yeah, we know already. I'll go take a bath. <laughs> it's one surprise after another from Yoichi today. <laughs> I guess he's just as excited as we are. Let's go. What are we waiting for, then? Let's go. Huh? What's with that stare, Hero? Why are you looking at me like that? Isn't this the part where you'll say, Oh great, another lame camping trip. I thought it was something blah blah blah. <laughs> That's so on point, Hero. I was waiting for Yoichi to say that too. Hey, hey I wasn't going to say anything like that. <laughs> I guess Yoichi has changed too, after all. <laughs> you guys are always making me sound like the bad guy. <laughs> We're just kidding, Yoichi. <laughs> Though I'm worried about something. If we're gonna go out, who's gonna take care of the pups? Actually, actually, I was about to bring that up too, Yoichi. Based on what they said, it looks like the Scoutmasters will be coming along. I have an idea. Then let's just bring the puppies with us. Nope. No way. They're still too little. That's gonna stress them out way too much. Let's see. Maybe we should ask Scoutmaster Yoshi about it. I'm sure he's found a way to take care of them while we're out. I guess you're right. I'll go ask him before we leave, as long as they're fine. Then I can party. All right, everyone's here. Scoutmaster Yoshi, we wanted to ask you something before we go. <laughs> Don't worry about the puppies, you two. They're being well taken care of tonight. What? 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 We haven't even said anything yet. Well, I'm really trying my best to know you better, Yoichi. And like Kato said, you can be pretty predictable. <laughs> <laughs> But listen to me when I say you have nothing to worry about. The puppies are in good hands and are being well taken care of. And besides, we won't be gone for long. We'll be back by nighttime. Huh? Are, are you sure? Yes, of course. I promise. You can trust me, Yoichi. Fine. F fine. Get moving. Now then, if you guys are all set, we can leave immediately. Follow me, campers. Remember, just follow your scoutmasters until we reach our destination. Our last adventure of the summer begins. One, two, three, march. Who's taking care of the puppies, though? Oh. I have no idea who would be taking care of the puppies. Guess I'll really be stuck here by myself without all of you guys around. I don't have anywhere else to go after all. Not that it's a bad thing. I get to have free food here and my puppies are here to keep me company. Yoshi could always use some help with all this stuff for next year's batch anyway. What? 
What? You mean you live here at camp, buddy? How come you never told us that? Well, now you know. It's no big deal. Oh. Oh, now the reason you're always enrolled here every year makes sense. Actually. That actually had me a bit worried. Maybe I could have could stay here during the off season too to help take care of the puppies. Don't be stupid. I'm no baby. I know you have your own life out there to deal with. But I'm a dad too, Yoichi. <laughs> I I don't want to only see them every summer. <laughs> I'll be fine here. Instead of hanging around Hero, you could just come here instead. Hey! Don't listen to him, Katero. Yoichi. You know you're not a prisoner here, Yoichi. You can always join us when we hang out too. Mm. I've never really been invited to come and hang out before. That's all pretty new to me. We've arrived, Scouts. I'm sure all of you are tired from our hike, so please take some time to rest while your Scoutmaster set up the campsite. We'll call everyone once everything is ready. You're all dismissed for now. Whew. We finally made it. I guess this really is our last time camping outside together, isn't it, Yoichi? Yeah. Hmm? Is something the matter, Yoichi? Huh? You'll really be leaving camp tomorrow, huh? I won't be able to wake up to your scent anymore. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, y Yoichi, I mean, I always thought it was a little bit strange how you always woke, woke me up by sniffing my crotch, but I'm sorry, you won't be able to do that anymore. If you want, I can find another way to... Hmm. I already told you, didn't I? I can take care of myself and the puppies while you're out there. It's just, I... I'm really gonna miss having you here, you know. Yoichi. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I want you to have this. Oh. That's Yuki's collar. Keep it. Eh? Well, why are you giving it this to me? This is important to you, isn't it? Yeah, but so are you. <laughs> but don't get... I mean... Don't get the wrong idea here. I'm only asking you to hold on to it. Oops. I I'm only asking you to hold on to it while you're not here with me. So now you have something that belongs to me. You better come back here to give it back. You got that? Got it, Yoichi. I'll make sure to keep it safe. Thank you so much. Whatever. What's up? Hey there, lovebirds. Uh, ah, hello, Sir Aiden. <laughs> you teams two seem closer than before. Did something change? Well, did we come out to our friends in this in this route? I don't remember that happening. Yeah, Kiddo yeah. and I are family now. Aww. Yoichi. Whoa. That that's quite the development, but good for you two. I'll admit that I was pretty worried about you the other day, Yoichi. But this explains why you're able to bounce back so quick. Anyway. I didn't come here just to embarrass you two. Check this out, Yoichi. What's this? Aiden's 12-month special workout plan. Yep. I came up with an intense workout plan. I'm going to follow between this term and the next one. What do you say you do you want into? You bet. That sounds kick-ass. Plus, this is probably the only book you'll ever get me to read. <laughs> All right, I thought you'd say yeah. You'd say yes. Better be ready, Katero, because when you come back to camp next year, Yoichi's gonna be bigger and sexier than ever. Huh? 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 <laughs> Without crazy Katero is about my body now, I bet he'll be throwing himself all over me once I get even buffer next year. Yoichi, that's embarrassing. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it, little bro. It'll be great to have a partner for a change. Oh. Does that mean you're going to be working here full-time, Sir Aiden? Yep, I'm a scoutmaster now, after all. But what about your plans to finish college? I remember you told me that was the whole reason you were working here. A few years ago, when I applied for a job in this camp, all I wanted to save... All I wanted to do was save enough money to get that sweet sports and recreation degree. I already feel so fulfilled as a helper, and now as a scoutmaster here at Camp Buddy. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, a part of me still wants to get that degree to be a legitimate pro. All the cool stuff I'd learned would be helpful for Camp Buddy, too. I'm not sure if I should continue studying or focus on helping the camp first, though. Either way, it'll all depend on what I decide. Would you two stop with all that adult crap? You're right, bro. This is our last day. We should all be having tons of fun. Anyway, I need to go and make sure everything is all set for dinner tonight. See ya. 
See you guys later. Enjoy the evening. Hey there, you two. It's already time to gather up around the campfire. Everything is all, all set up. Follow me, campers. As soon as Scoutmaster Yoshi gathered everyone for dinner, our whole night turned into a huge party. I don't think there's anything new here. I think it'll just be our campfire scene. Oh, our sad campfire scene. So sad. <sighs> I'm so full! Oh. Me too. I can't believe we ran out of marshmallows. <laughs> That's because Yoichi here ate around five bags of them. Says the guy who kept serving me and everyone food. Isn't this exactly like our first outdoor camping trip together? It feels bittersweet to say goodbye to everyone, especially to Yoichi. It's true that all good things come to an end. I now accept that, because I know that in the end will always be a new beginning. A brand new chance to make even more great memories. Alright guys, I guess that's the end of the the Yoichi route. Well, almost. We still have our after credits special scene that I get for getting the perfect ending. Um, but I'm really sad to say goodbye to Yoichi. I'm really sad to say goodbye to him. He he grew on me, I think, throughout the, the route in, in a ways I didn't expect. His strong muscles and his thick dick were very, very pleasant, guys. I really cared for it. It was really nice. I love Yoichi. Not as much as Keitaro, but I love him. All right, the conductor is for some reason narrating our life again. I I, I still don't understand what that's about, but um, <laughs> we'll um we'll see our our um our additional scene with Yoichi in the next episode. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know about my Discord. I have. Um, I'm chatting in there, a lot of other subscribers are chatting in there, and it's a lot of fun. And I really recommend um, pasting the Discord link in here instead of just clicking on it in my YouTube comments. Sometimes Discord can be a little bit weird when you click on the link. So I recommend just copy and pasting it in here. And you have to be over 18 to be in this Discord though, guys, so please do be aware of that. If I find out you're under 18, I will ban you, I will kick you. And all you have to do when you get to this page is type dash agree after you read the rules and agree to the rules, just type a dash agree. That's really important, it's a dash and then an agree, no spaces. If you just type that, you'll get full access to the Discord. And there are 58 people who can't um, who can't um, figure out how to type dash agree. <laughs> so don't be like them. All right, guys, I hope to see you in the Discord. Bye.